welcome back to another episode of For the Love of Cinnamon. Today we're taking a classic beef stew dish and ramping it up with Ceylon cinnamon powder and Hungarian paprika. You probably know by now that Ceylon cinnamon powder adds a savory flavor to your dish. What you might not know is that Hungarian paprika comes in two varieties, a sweet one and a spicy one. And what we're doing today is thinking outside the box and combining the three ingredients to create a sublime flavor. This recipe actually calls for two teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon powder. However, if you don't have it available, or you just don't want to wait for it to arrive in the mail from cinnamonbow.com, you can also use cassia cinnamon. However, we advise you only use one teaspoon as the flavor is, as the taste will be spicy and a little harsh. The reason why we recommend Ceylon cinnamon is that it has low levels of coumarin that won't damage your liver, unlike cassia cinnamon. Um, Ceylon cinnamon powder also adds an extraordinary delicious flavor to your dish and um, it will give you a mouth-watering experience. Are you ready to get started? Perfect. Let's go over the ingredients. So I know it looks like a lot of ingredients but I'm pretty sure most of them are readily available in your pantry and we'll start with the two pounds of beef that is cubed. Um, two teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon powder, which is this one right here, which you can find at uh, cinnamonvote.com. Then we have um, our Hungarian paprika, which is one teaspoon of spicy and one teaspoon of, um, of sweet. Then we have a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of um, oregano. We have two teaspoons of salt, um, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. We'll also be using a bay leaf. And um, to brown the meat, we'll use coconut oil. We like coconut oil, we think it tastes delicious, and you'll need about two tablespoons of that. We'll also be using three celery stalks that have been thinly sliced, um, about a cup of scallions, also known as green onions. Um, we're using a, a cup and a half of baby carrots, but if you want, you can use just three regular carrots and just slice them thinly. I have here four small potatoes, <clears throat> but you can use up to six. It all depends on your preference. Um, one green bell pepper. We're using um, a cup of organic beef broth and also um, a small can of Hunt's tomato paste and one uh, can of Hunt's um, diced tomatoes. So those are all the ingredients and I think it's about time we get to work. So the first step was to heat up the oil um, on medium high heat which I already did and have there and now I'm ready to brown the meat. Um, you can brown your meat in batches if you have a smaller pot. I have a big one. I can brown it all at once and then just add the other ingredients on top of it. So here it is. We're adding the meat to the heated oil. Make sure you stir. So we've browned our meat. If in the process it, it releases too much fat or too much juices, you can always dump them and continue the process. Um, we actually um, like a little bit of fat, it adds flavor to it, so you see how it's browned. And now I'm adding all the herbs and spices. Powder, the paprika. Sauce, bay leaf, oregano, rosemary, thyme, also the celery, the scallion, bell pepper, One tablespoon of the tomato paste. And I also need to add the salt. We're mixing and we'll simmer all these ingredients together for about five minutes to let the flavors blend. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we've simmered our meat for about five minutes with all the herbs and the ingredients that we had, we're ready to add the beef broth and the diced tomatoes and just let it simmer for about two hours, two hours and a half, it all depends. You can, you know, uh, stir occasionally and taste it and see what it's done to your liking. We're probably gonna let it simmer for about two, two and a half hours. And once you mix all the ingredients together, you'll cover it with the lid and just let it simmer. So our stew has been boiling for about two hours and a half now and as you can tell it has a really beautiful color and it smells delicious and it tastes really good. Um, we're ready to add the carrots and the potatoes. We've kept the potatoes in water so they won't blacken out and because there's not a lot of soup and a lot of juice so we're gonna add another cup of water. If you'd like to add more than that because you like it soupier or more liquid, more juice, then go ahead and add more. Um, so I'm adding the carrots, the potatoes, the extra water. We're gonna mix everything together and we're going to let it simmer for another about 30 minutes or until the carrots and the potatoes are boiled and then the stew is ready to serve. So we slow boiled our uh, stew for another 30 minutes. The carrots and the potatoes are soft and our stew is ready to serve. It smells delicious and it tastes delicious. Chefs always get to taste their food. And um, as serving suggestions, we used uh, white rice, steamed white rice. But if you want, you can serve it with um, you can serve it with toast or with just regular bread or maybe couscous or, or whatever whatever you like. It's it's not it doesn't have to be a certain thing. I'm gonna put some in a in a bowl. Oh, this smells so good. I look forward to share this with my husband. And there you go. We have a delicious Salam cinnamon powder and Hungarian paprika beef stew. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of For the Love of Cinnamon. My name is Daniela. I look forward to seeing you next time.